very good morning from Leesburg here in Sweden. You joined by me and of course Mr. Martin Hartwood. Hello himself. everybody. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a good trip. I'm looking forward to this one. One of my favourite parks out there. It's my third ever visit. This isn't actually Martin's first visit either. When no, did you no. last come? Uh, I came in 2014 for opening year of Helix, uh, but I came in September, which uh, it wasn't quite as nice as this. Yeah, We're having nice, quite a nice weather. day today. Yeah. I mean, the world sunny day. We are. I mean, yeah. we can't wait to get back on Helix. We've got Balder in there as well. Uh, have a little look around and see any other improvements at the park. Aero spin, we've not been on that, have we? That opened last no, year. No, uh, that's no, the no, Gerst, that's, that's, that's a sky roller. For both of us, yeah, Mechanica, you haven't done that, have you yet? No, that I opened haven't. the year after Helix. Uh, so there's a lot to see. Like Martin said, it's quite nice and sunny day today. It's about nine degrees at the moment. And the park here, if you've never been before, it does open a little bit later. Uh, it opens later, but stays open later at night. Uh, so today it actually opens at 12 o'clock in just over an hour's time. We're here nice and early with it being the first day of the season. Uh, and then it shuts tonight uh, at 10 o'clock, doesn't it? So uh, it's yeah. a late close. Normally the hours are like 11 to 11 and all sorts of different hours what yeah. we do. So right. yeah, it's uh, so definitely we well worth going down. a dark ride on Helix. 100%. I mean, we arrived yeah. last night. Check out our travel vlog if you've not seen it. Um, a little stroll around here last night about quarter to nine and that's when it was pitch black so we should be in for a few night rides on helix tonight so it's gonna we've be really good got, uh, we've even got a fast track for uh, helix actually i booked it for in between nine and ten which if you buy your tickets from the official leesburg website uh you actually get free free fast tracks well worth so doing one um so yeah i got a two-day ticket um two dagger Two daggers. <laughs> Two yeah. daggers. Um, and that cost me about 640 krona, which is about 60 pounds, which I don't think is too bad. I think that's about average for about two days. Not bad at all. European theme park ticket, to be honest. It is also worth noting that if you do have an annual pass to Europa Park, Fantasyland, and a few other different parks out there, you do actually get a one day access here for Leesburg as you're well. So it's well worth noting. Yeah, yeah, oh, there we go. It was the van. So it's well worth noting. Uh, that if you do have annual passes to any of the other theme parks in Europe, check with their guest services team to see uh, if you do get a day's access here for Leesburg. Yeah. I'm ready to go in, I'm it's ready to get on entry. Helix. It's free entry, yeah, because we've got a van going in. Here you go, Pi go Pyro Design. You didn't read the sign, Pyro no, Design. What's Are that we for? Fireworks <laughs> <tonight>? maybe. <laughs> maybe we Are you ready for Helix, Martin? I am ready for Helix. I'm, I'm ready, ready for Helix. For Helix. Let's uh, get this our tickets, get inside. And here we go, it is our second favourite. Both we have, Shambhala's both are uh, number one. And then this is our number two. So let's see if it still stays in second place. Let's get inside Leesburg. We're going to have a good day. Helix the ride. The Helix Project. We've got some big confetti cannons down there. That's what was being brought in. Look at those bad boys. Poor. <laughs> Here it comes. Good morning. Hey. Morning. <laughs> hey. Thank you. 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 Thank He's off. He's not giving me any. You can go on Sunday. I get some. And then you match your coat. <laughs> 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 it's only because I'm oh. wearing a <laughs> So funny. opening by the park they got some girls you must be i don't know a daughter of a staff member or maybe a competition winner or something like that to come and do the opening of the park and as you saw there just loads of confetti all the staff lined up red carpet that was really nice and i've also got some ears now as well that was nice that, that was amazing i've never seen an opening like that for a park it was great i mean why don't we get this back in the uk that's such a good idea it's just 
It's brilliant, and it made us all feel special, the fact that we were walking into the park, and he gave you these free bunny ears. Bunny rabbit ride. Yeah. Bunny so rabbit. if you've never been to yeah, Leesburg yeah, we before... we need to take them on the mega trip now, don't we? I know. <laughs> if you've never been to Leesburg before, you might not know that it's a very hilly park, and there's escalators like this to get onto Helix. It's been two years since I've been here, and I can't wait to get back on. Are you ready for the map, Mega? Yes, of course I am. I can't oh. wait. Of course, a fantastic soundtrack by Ima Score as well. It is Two gorgeous. Two and a half years since I've been on this. This is a beautiful coaster, and I can't wait to get back on. <laughs> Beautiful day for it. Still so smooth. Whoa. Massive load of ejector. Underneath the tunnel. Woo! It's a launch number two. Oh, yes. More air time. Beautiful. Oh, I still can't get over how good that is. So the ears are back on and we've just had two rides on Helix. One on the front row, as you saw there by the footage. Then we went straight back round again, queued about 15 minutes as it's on three trains, uh, and had to go on the back row. Fantastic, confirms its place back there at number two. Shut up, Lee's Bird Bannon. There it is, another beautiful coaster at the park, Schwarzkopf Classic. I'll wait till she's moved up a little bit before I talk. That's better. Yeah, confirmed it's blazing at number two for me. An amazing coaster, nice and smooth. They fixed the rattle as well, which is good. Uh, anyone who's ridden it before will know there was a hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Say hi. <laughs> Happens every vlog, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, the rattle's been fixed, which is great. Anyone who went on it before will know there was a little, there was a little rattling noise. It wasn't a jolty noise, so to speak. It was just like a screw was loose or something. Uh, that's been fixed. Of course, there's a new tunnel. I say new. It was here if you came here last year. Uh, but where they put aero spin in, there's a tunnel just there, which is nice, just before uh, the second launch. Brilliant coaster. Still confirmed there in at number two for me. Over to Martin. You've never heard Martin's thoughts on it. So that's oh my God, I love that coaster. When <laughs> I came here in 2000. 14. God, I thought that was an amazing coaster, but that has everything for me. Please put Bannon, shut up. Yeah. It's got everything for me, that coaster, all right? As soon as you come out of the station, all right, the view that you get... Over it's the like park a documentary, this city, is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the view that you get over the park and the city, number one, all right? The airtime you get, all right, number two, all right? The head choppers that you get, number three. The rock work at the side. The trees, the rock work, because <laughs> you get that same feeling that you get on Nemesis. You do. The towers. Up against the rock faces, all right, you get that on this coaster. And with it being up, up against the hillside, it's just brilliant. The launches what on these Matt Mega Coasters aren't that intense at all. So if you've never been on with before, and I know a lot of you will be going to Blackpool to ride theirs next year, Icon, don't expect the launches to be really intense, as you will be disappointed. What you can expect is a really smooth, comfortable ride, fantastic transitions, and on the Helix especially, some really good airtime. Fantastic. The back is more intense. It is. Some yeah. really good Gs actually on the yeah. back. It's so much better than Blue Fire, isn't it? More Gs on the back, yeah. It's a lot better than Blue Fire. I think the only thing what Blue Fire's got better than this is the final inversion on Blue Fire is better than the final inversion on Helix. Uh, there you go. I think Leesburg Bannon's there. Uh, one we should go and do actually. You've not been on that before, have no, you? No, I haven't. Should we go and do the bad because, because I'm not that keen on Schwarzkopf, to, to, to be honest. Because obviously, Schwarzkopf, 
<laughs> it's an old classic. And Gerslauer, Schwarzkopf, Gerslauer, <laughs> same company. <laughs> they are a classic, so we'll, we'll go and give it a go, I suppose. Marty's not been on it, so we'll head down the mountain. I'll do it. I'll do it. He'll be coming down the mountain when he comes. Well, let's go and have a ride. Good start so far. Two rides on Helix in 30 minutes. Off we go then, Ron Lee Spurred Bannon, Martin's first time. A classic sports car over at the park in 1987, this one. It's a classic. Are you ready? I am. And I must say, good views of Phoenix. That's the best part already. <laughs> That's the reason why I come up to uh, on a sports car. Waves from over on atmosphere. Off we go. time there. <laughs> I like how it has to have kicker wheels to get it up to this bit. <laughs> and down we go once and then we're about to go down again and then for a third time after that as well. Down again. <laughs> Off we go. It's such a nice smooth coaster. There we go. How was that? That was good. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be so good, yeah. that, to be honest. I'm a little bit jolty in places for a uh, swamp scoff, but that is expected. But, but like for one, it is actually quite smooth. I and really you get a little bit of air time, you get some good views of Helix. It's, yeah, it's a really good family coaster, that. I really like how it comes down the mountain three times and repeats it. Uh, yeah, what a brilliant coaster. I do enjoy a good ride on the Lee Spur Bannon. A really nice family coaster, that one. Especially if you're feeling a little bit nervous for Helix before you first go on it. Maybe come into Leesburg, uh, go on the Leesburg Bannon first before you then get onto Helix, uh, the other fantastic coaster on the hillside. Then that's what makes this part the location. I mean, when you stand back here and look at all those rides up on the hills, it is absolutely gorgeous. And especially uh, when you look at Helix from down here, it does look amazing. Of course, you've got atmosphere at the back there as well. Uh, not the best of drop towers. It it actually used to be an observation tower, uh, that one just there. And then we've got Aerospin, which is just on the left there, which is a Gerslauer sky roller. And um, we'll go and give that a go later on. Uh, Gerslauer. Uh, Gerslauer. <laughs> one thing which is good to talk about <laughs> is B&M. And yes, the change exactly. at this park. And this new coaster. <laughs> so anyone who's been here before or watched our videos will know there used to be an Entevin accelerator coaster literally located on this site just here. Which is now in a car park. Yeah, it's now in a car park. <laughs> and if you watch our travel vlog uh, that was we put on yesterday, make sure you check that one out where we're going to have a look at the track for that. Uh, but here you go. This is where the new ride's going to go. And literally, it used to launch out across here, uh, then used to go into like a little top hat and, and back round. It had a couple of inversions. It was all right, wasn't it? It wasn't a bad little... It was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't great. It the, was, it was obviously special. they put it in years ago and thought we want a launch coaster in this park. Let's just build that. And then a few years later, they've gone and got Helix, so they didn't really need that anymore. Uh, but yeah, the brand new dive coaster. I'm going to pronounce it the best I can do, viewers. For, sorry for any Swedish people watching. I'm going to call it Valkyrie. I don't think that's right, but Valkyrie is the dive coaster that will be opening in 2018 as part of a brand new themed area, Myths and Legends. So let's have a little look down here uh, at what's going to be getting built. So of course you've got Balder, uh, which is the coaster which is already in this area, which will be going on next. Looks like we've got a new sign for Balder down the bottom. Uh, and this looks very different actually because Kanonen's building used to be quite big here actually, so it's opened up the area quite a bit. You never used to be able to see Balder's drop very well from here at all. Uh, like I say, this whole area is going to be themed to myths and legends. And as you can see just here, we've got like a, it looks like a little preview area, uh, a VR preview area. New entrance for 
Balder. Yeah, and Balder's got a new entrance. I assume that'll be temporary just for this year. It did used to have an entrance just a bit further around. There you go, Valkyrie VR. Looks like you sit just in one of them seats in there. And then you put your VR headset on, it'll give you a little simulation of what the dive coast is going to be like. So we'll have to give that a go later on. I think they were charging 20 krona, yeah, weren't they, we'll have for to the VR? Have a look at that. Oh, I can see us in the, the mirror. It's only about two quid, so it's worth a go. He ain't going to break the bank. <laughs> <laughs> this looks nice. You can tell the quality of this area is going to be really good. I mean, I love all the building style they've gone for. And it is a two sort of phase project. This year, they're going to be opening Loki, uh, which was, like I say, supposed to open today. Who knows? You never know. We might still get on it this weekend. Uh, well, that is an intermittent gyro swing. Pretty much Maelstrom from Drayton Manor. Uh, but this interacts very closely. And now we're here. You can see how they've added this little building in there. And it is going to swing right over uh, Balder. Literally, it's going to get so close to the track there. You can just imagine it swinging out. Uh, it's like these two rides are going to be having a bit of a fight, a bit of a battle. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to have the dive coaster. A few facts about the dive coaster. Uh, it's going to feature three inversions, uh, which is going to be good. It's got an Emmelman. It's got a zero-G roll and also a Heartline roll. It's 750 metres long, making it the Europe's longest dive coaster. There you go. So it's going to be very exciting. It's by literally going to stand yeah, by, by B&M. Which &M. is the best part of it. <laughs> a B&M and a Mac in the same park. It's always a good sign. And, and it's going maybe, to look amazing for me. Maybe two B and M's in Sweden. Yes, because obviously Grunelund is having in their inverted coaster in a few years as well. So very exciting. I think we're going to have a ride on Balder and just see if they've made any other changes. Uh, but overall, this area is going to be going through a lot over the next couple of years, and I can't wait to be back next year. Uh, already, I can confirm we will be here on the opening day uh, of the dive coaster. So make sure you stay uh, watching Theme Park Worldwide into next year as we come and check that out. Very exciting. And we're on the front row. Blue train on Balder. Steep lift hill. It is a very steep lift hill. Intervin roller coaster. Very steep drop on this one. Here we go. You've never done a front row, have you, before? No, I haven't. No, you're right. Really nice views. Next to the boat way. Off we go. 17 degrees drop. And we're off. Woo! Woo! Wow! Woo! 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 Oh, yes! I'm guaranteed on Balder. Beautiful that. That was running really, really yeah. well. That was yeah. running even better than I ever remember it, Balder. <laughs> so we're just standing by Loki, which we'll talk about in a second. But yes, Balder, oh just come on. Oh my god, I can't believe how great that was. I mean, like, <laughs> Balder for me has always been a good Woody, but it's never been a great Woody. That then rode so good, it rode so smoother than it used to. I don't know what they've done to it. Luke it was Will, great. Something that was that. amazing, yeah. wasn't it? But yeah, it really needs so much airtime. Yes, it has always had a lot of airtime, but that makes it so much smoother now with those new wheels or whatever they put on it. But yeah, that was a, like, that, like Martin said it in one there. It was even smoother than it ever has been. And just the whole coaster just felt so strong. One of my favorite woodies. I've always enjoyed it. But like Martin said, it was always a good coaster, not an outstanding coaster. Now, I'd say that's an outstanding coaster. Leesburg's got two really, really world-class rides, in my opinion. Yeah, now. yeah. The, that is another, for airtime, it has got to be another Goliath. I'm not airtime. sure what they've done to it. Or is it just because we've not been on it for so long? I don't know. But it just no, felt different. No, it was different. never that smooth, I don't think. No, it but, felt different, didn't but, it? But, you know. Yeah, we had two goes. It didn't matter because it's a, a great coaster anyway, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. We had two rides on it. We had a front row, then we thought, let's go straight back round. And that was literally a five, ten minute queue tops. Uh, not bad at all. Bear in mind, we waited for the front row. We waited a little bit longer than that, uh, but it was on two trains. And yeah, it's soon, soon getting the queues moving. In terms of theming, then, this whole area, myths and legends, of course, here's Loki. That's really nice quality. You can tell all this sort of feel they're going for. There's all that lighting behind that as well, so that look amazing at night. Got like chandeliers all under here, and you got a bit of a cattle pen queue line. It'd be nice if they were going away from that, but I do understand that the park are quite short of space here. It's not like they've got lots and lots of room to play with, but you can tell the quality of all this is really nice. And hopefully, well, I'm sure the dive coast is going to be the same style, theme, and same quality. All this is very, very nice, all proper like wooden carvings and stuff. This looks amazing. It's a shame it's not open at the moment. But this does look ready to go. I mean, they said in the video that they were completing theming work before they open it. This, to me, looks good to go. And you never know, we might either get on later or uh, get on it tomorrow. If not, I think I'll probably be back out here later in the year anyway uh, to come and have some more rides. Well, this looks great. Loads and loads of theming. Yeah, all around the back just there. It's got a big queue line. And a logo for Loki on the side as well. Looks amazing, look at all this. Having a really good day so far here at Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden. <laughs> 10 minute wait then for Colorado. A rapid ride here at the park. It's nice to see they're going down more of the themed routes. I mean, this area, I reckon, might turn into more of a Wild West theme. I mean, you can see all this here. They've already got the bases for it, if you like. I mean, this wouldn't take much to enhance the whole area. It's just a shame about these cattle pen queues. It's a good rapid, this one. It is a good rapid, this one. Some nice water effects on this as well, so we'll take you on board. It's got a really nice station as well, from what I can remember. Oh, bit of Swedish queue jumping going on there. Oh, all that. And we're off from Colorado. Yeah, good rapids this one. We got our own boat. Yeah, our own boat because there's hardly any queue. Yeah, nice quiet and quiet. Day yeah. Big day. Traditionally quiet, which is what we like. Uh, water effect coming up. Managed to avoid that one there just. <laughs> it's quite slow this first oh, bit. There's a cannon of water there we just missed. The cannon, that's on the car park. Yeah. <laughs> Canona over on the car park. Here we go, it's where it picks up a little bit now. We go right next to Hotel Gaston, which is a scare attraction located in that building just up there. We will, Mark has not done that one. There they all are waiting to get scared. Let's give them a wave. Hello! Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. That's the spirit, they're all going in the scare attraction. It's an upcharge attraction, but it's really, really worth it. One of my favourite things here at Liseberg. You see, I didn't know that last time. When I last came, <laughs> I thought I had my wristband, so I thought I had entry. So I've done like a, I like a walked up to yeah. it, and like, no, 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 no. But, and it never really told me, uh, like, that you had to pay for it. 50 kroner, please, 50 kroner. They never asked for it. If they asked me for it, I would have gave it to them. And yeah. I would have happily paid for it. So you missed but, out because of that. So we'll have to definitely give that a I go. I thought it was just for special people or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, you can just pay for it. You don't need to have a special wristband or anything like that. It's pay extra. It's quite slow at this point, but we get some good water effects now if they're on. Here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's got my uh, jeans a little bit there. It is quite slow at this point. This is where we pick start up. to pick up speed a little bit, a little bit choppy seas. This is the nicest weather I've ever had out here in Sweden. Woo! Oh, Mr. Bex. It's a good one in the dark, this actually. I do like it at night. We're off to have a go later then. Here we go. And we're off. This is a bit more like it. Tonight. Yeah, 10 o'clock ride close. I prefer it opening later and staying open later into the night. It means night rides guaranteed. Not that wet so far, are we, Martin, here? No KFC. No KFC, I know. 
Yeah. Max Burgers. <laughs> yeah, Max Burgers. Yeah, if you did used to come to the Burger Kings here, they have been removed now and replaced with Max Burger. I'd never actually heard of it, but Martin says it's quite big over here. I think they're a chain, though. I think you can get them in France, if I remember rightly. Oh, okay. I think they're like a big kind of fast food chain. But yeah, I would like to try some on this trip, actually. We'll have to get that in the vlog, get a bit of Max Burger. You can do Martin's food review if you want. You can take the crown and do it for me. Not a lot going on, we're going to give number 19 a good bang in now. Oh, oh yes, beautiful. Yeah, not very exciting uh, run, that was it. Another bash there for number eight. This is a good wave machine, this one. It is, it's a bit slow around here, it's a good wave machine. It's like being at Waterworld in Stoke-on-Trent. Oh, here we go. This is where the fun begins now. Whoa, my God. That's it. It's more like it. We're going to get a bit of a whack now. Oh, not too bad. Oh, we're being bashed about in this wave machine. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Oh, bit of spinning, bit of spin ball whizzer. Bit of a disappointing ride on the rapids, that one. Normally, you can get quite wet on that, actually. Didn't really get much there, did we? No, we I got a little bit there, you're bone dry, aren't you? It's a bit unlucky. Yeah, you never know. I'm just going to say lucky, I don't know. Oh! That couldn't have been better time. Just as you were saying, it's uh, not a very good run. Hey! I don't think so. There we go. <laughs> yeah, good I love the na the natural moments like that. Oh, that was hilarious. Just as we were saying as well, nothing. That was two massive waves straight through the gap. Colorado at Leesburg. <laughs> Such a funny rapids ride there we had. Uh, we're going to give Hotel Gaston a try now. I mentioned it just whilst we was on there. The entrance has actually moved. It used to be located just around the corner just there. Uh, however, now it's round here. And you used to have to go to a little booth to buy your tickets. However, now you come to Martin and use these. Like you go to this machine here. But it looks like you already have to pay by card. So oh, okay. uh, card that's only. all right. We've got a credit card. So it's not too bad. Because the fees aren't too bad with credit cards. So, so if you've got a ride pass, we'll go, uh, it's 50 kroner. You can change to English here in the corner and then buy tickets and then two two tickets with a ride pass 100 kroner if you haven't received. got a ride pass it's 70 kroner so that's it's just if you've paid to come into yeah. the park so and there you go nice and easy we'll go in of course the camera can't come inside with this one but we'll see you on the other side we'll talk all about it maybe there's been a few changes in here since my last visit as well uh, especially with the entrance being moved who knows it's never been that popular really you never really get, get long queues for it uh, so hopefully it'll be just as good if not even better than it was before uh, and we'll see what martin thinks when we come out hotel gaston here at leesburg what a beautiful day, but it's time to get scared. We've just come out of Hotel Gaston and Loki is now testing. Look at that, I tell you what, it swings a lot more than Maelstrom. Look how close it gets over to Balder as well. Whoa, fantastic. So we just come out then, Gaston, what do you wow. think? Wow, well, well, that is a good scare base. It's so well themed. That has to be the best themed scare base I've ever been in. It is amazing. And, uh, and it's a bit of a madhouse in places, you know, with the... Uh, but you know, I just don't get scared with um, with these scare mates. I don't normally, me, you know. but I had a massive did, scare yeah, in there. I, I've never I had a big heard one. Sean scream before, but oh my god, <laughs> yeah. it was absolutely hilarious. It was just I wasn't expecting it. I didn't get that scare before when I've been through it. Literally, I, I was right at the back of the group, and now my hands on Martin. Yeah. I wasn't just gone like that. I like, really. Bad. I just don't get scared of these. So that's why when it comes to scare mazes, I don't really go for the. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, are you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I, well, well, no, well, no like, I just don't go for the scares. But that was a really, really good scare maze for the theming and for the uh, madhouse parts in, in places, you know, with the floors and that. The theme is amazing. It's basically a, a messed up hotel. Uh, and then there's a really nice scene in there. It's like all water and the room's on a slant, the chandeliers are swinging and it's like the electrics have gone and there's all like these fake sparks. It's very, very well themed. Like I say, it works out about five quid. It's around a 10, 15 minute experience depending on how fast you walk through it. Uh, but there's plenty of actors in there as well. It's probably got about 10 or so actors in there. 
Uh, fantastic, I really enjoyed it. No improvements on last time, but it doesn't really need any. That was really, really good, and hopefully, now that we've moved the entrance a little bit, we'll get more people inside that, because it is a really, really good attraction. Not loads of massive scares, but as Martin said, the experience, the theming, it's more of a madhouse style. Uh, but yeah, very, very good. Hopefully we might get going Loki though, it was testing just. And we've now got a staff member out the front. I never count my chickens, so you know me. <laughs> Should we have a go on Mechanico so instead? You're not I only really count my chickens when it comes to Mackie D's or... Uh, KFC. Yeah, yeah, or KFC. And on the mega wave. Otherwise, I don't count my <laughs> yeah. chickens. Otherwise. Hopefully. She might not look like a staff member out the front, but she is. So we'll, uh, we'll find out. Oh, there you go. The VR's open for the dive coaster as well, so we'll have to do that as well. Lots to see at least, boom. Very exciting times. This is definitely a park to watch in the future. Really do like the queue line from Mechanica. Lots of theming, more music from Ima School. Very nice around here. All this detail. You can really tell, like Martin said it for me earlier when he said, this isn't really a theme park, it's an amusement park, isn't it? But they're trying to turn it into a theme park and all this little detail. It's very, very nice. Two years since Mechanic Groton. But it may be an amusement park, but it's got some world class coasters. It has, definitely. Really on that one. World class coasters, I'd say, at the moment, soon to be free. I mean, this style theming is more than what we get in theme parks back home in, in terms of our, our rides. We just don't get this much effort for a flat ride. That's one thing I love about Leesburg. These are just flat rides, but they get a fantastic soundtrack for them. They get all this theming and experience. Let's get on board. Mechanica. This is another one that's amazing at night, this one. Looks great in the dark. Off we go on Mechanica. Really nice soundtrack around the A for this one. Really nice views. Mine's first time on this one. Hopefully we're going to get a nice intense ride. Off we go. Where things get fun. Woo. Not too much force yet. This is where you get the nice views of the surrounding area, beautiful views of the park. Balva, it is gorgeous. Of course, we get amazing views of the dive coaster from up here when that is complete next year. Log flume over there. Hoping it's going to get a bit more intense now. We haven't really got much so far. This is where it normally gets good. Here we go. Oh, that was better. Good. Oh, I like that force. Oh. Shake it up, shake it up. Whoa. Oh. Woo. And I say I ride on Mechanica. I mean, it's okay. It's still how I remember it from a couple of years ago, really. saw them from the footage, just come off Mechanica. It was new for 2015 here at Leesburg, and it was really about the same as what I remember it really a couple of years ago. How was your ride, well, Martin? Uh, it, that was intense. Uh, I prefer top scans. Um, I, I do think those are more 
intense than top scans. You get some um, force, don't you? Is yeah, it, uh, you do. Yeah. Mainly because of the um, gondola rocking so like yeah, that. Yeah, if you don't like intense flat rides, probably not one for you. It was alright. Um, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really race back and go back on it. But yeah, I mean, me personally, same thoughts as Martin. Really, I, I love my intense flat rides, and that I, I think it's intense when it rocks, but it's not intense in terms of lots of different forces. It's the same force, like a rocking uh, sort of momentum, what you get on that, and it's okay. It's not bad, but I do prefer uh, my top scans. I love the likes of Samurai, the Beast at Fantasy Island. If you want an intense flat ride, that's still one of the best ones to go for. Uh, but what is a really good ride here is Flume Ride, the Log Flume. And this is a very special Log Flume. It's not manufactured by Mac. It's an old flume, and it's an Arrow Log Flume, this one. Something a little bit different. Uh, I love my heritage rides, as you know, and this definitely is one of those. Flume ride at Leesburg. I mean, look at this. You can tell it's old school. Look at the, the wooden station, uh, all these Leesburg style lights, what they've got around it. And again, I think it's Martin's first yeah, go. Did yeah, you say yeah. on this one? I never actually came on this when I came in. A lot of rides you didn't do team. last time you were here. There was a lot of rides because I was with my girlfriend and, uh, you know, we just wanted to enjoy the park, yeah. really, to be honest. You don't need to came. ride at somewhere yeah. like this. You can just get as much no, enjoyment no, off exactly. ride. And you get a good experience in this park. Do you know what I mean? I mean it's, it's beautiful. It's got a good atmosphere. It is beautiful. It's a city it. it's park. It's got a good city centre atmosphere. And that's what I like about this park. We really, with some world class coasters. Too right. Let's go on flume ride. We'll uh, see you on the loggers. Loggers leap. Closed. Off we go then, up the first hill. On flume ride. Martin's in the front on this one. Is he going to get as wet as he did on Colorado? Good old arrow dynamics. I know, yeah, they did some classics. They really did. Both toasters and That's water very, rides. Very clever with how they made their rides. I tell you what, this whole top area of uh, my aerospin looks really nice. Can't wait to have a little explore around here. Of course, it's a new ride for both me and Martin, that one. Opened last year, and obviously none of us visited last year, so it'll be good to get up there. It's quite high up on the hillside as well, actually. Beautiful views of Helix second launch just there. What a gorgeous day, it's the nicest weather I've ever had out here, really nice. Oh, look at the views of Helix. The water looks nice and clean on this one as well. Just gonna lift number two. This new play area looks quite nice here as well. Must be chlorinated on this. You've got the new carousel and play area. This all opened last year. It looks lovely around here, the gardens area. Can't wait to have a little explore around there in a second. Should make our way round to the first big drop. Is Martin gonna get wet? That's the question. I always get wet. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't quite hear that, he says he always gets wet. Here we go, arms in the air. Woo! Oh. <laughs> bit of a sprinkle. Woo! Like a little. <laughs> Just a bit of a sprinkle. Oh, yeah, double. Drop. Yeah, then straight into it. I do like straight this. It. It's like you, you do a lot of climbing up the hill and then you go straight into your big drops. Off we go. There we go. Are you that wet or are you all right? That was a good sprinkle. He's okay. Moist. Yeah, Mild mildly moist. moist. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. Now you got your club answers. Flume ride, jewel station. Look at that. 1973, guys. 1973. <laughs> so last year, Leesburg added in air spin which you can just see up there in shot on the hill it looks absolutely beautiful uh, this whole area here was also done I mean how nice is this you got a it looks really really pretty and... this is this is a good alternative route up the hill rather than using the escalator and you get some really really good views 
Um, you get a great shot of Balder, that's a really, really good photo shot of Balder there, and a good, like, photo shot. Yeah, you just saw the shot just down. of the flume. It's amazing, these arrow flumes, how fast the water goes down the drop. It's a really, yeah, it really... Is. It's a really, really clever ride system for a 1973, but then again, Arrow were very, very advanced. They were the their, pioneers at the time, yeah, weren't they? they were they, the you know? pioneers. They were a really, really good manufacturer. This is lovely. I can imagine this is nice at night with all these nice lights. And it reminds me a little bit of a bit F telling inspired this, ever so slightly. Uh, all the planting, all the lighting, the very relaxing, peaceful audio. Very, very nice. And of course, I'm a score at his best with aero spin up here as well. I mean, this looks great. Now, don't you think, anybody who's seen Blackpool Tower back home, doesn't that look just like the top of Blackpool Tower? Literally, I think that was inspired from it. I mean, Andreas, the park manager, and Amanda Thompson, the owner of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, are really good friends. So maybe, you know, he went to Blackpool, liked the top of it, and thought, let's put the top of Blackpool Tower on aero spin. Uh, this is a Gerstler, but it's actually quite good. I do enjoy uh, these sky rollers. Hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I will I keep on do doing that. Oh, Every I'm time I say Gerstler. It's just a funny thing to just say. Yeah. Gerstler do some good flats, though. <laughs> they do some good flat rides, and hopefully this will be as good as the sky roller uh, that me and Chris did a couple of years ago when we went to Bakken. Uh, that was really good over at Bakken. Hopefully this will be just as good. I mean, this area is lovely. Got the carousel, the play area that we saw just on Flume Ride. And here it is. So this will be very interesting to go on, especially with it being on the hillside. I think we're going to get some really, really nice views from up there. So we'll uh, go and have a little look. Aero spin. I'll tell you what, though, I wouldn't fancy waiting in this queue line. This is a big cattle pen. It's a bit of a Shambhala special, this one. This like they have set in like their cattle pens. They do, unfortunately. So the PA, PA the PA's got the worst ones, I think, out of them all. But I do like this whole theme to it. Obviously, it's based on like a flying contraption. And you can see you've got all these different designs on the wall. Uh, and over at the side, just there, some sort of flying machine. I do like the whole theme behind it. It's very, very well themed for a uh, girl slower. Yeah, I mean, like I say, Leesburg do some good theming. Uh, especially for flat rides, you know, they put a lot of effort in. So, can't wait for the uh, dive coaster next year. Let's go and get an aerospin, we'll see you on board. Okay, I'm on aerospin. Off we go. That's it. Oh my god. As you saw then, just on aerospin, I had a really, really good flip. But I'm coming on for the views this time, and hopefully Martin will get going. That's it, shake it side to side. It's windy up here today. Oh, really nice views. That's it, keep it going, Martin, don't stop, keep it going. A bit more flipping. That's it, keep it going. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming on for a scenic look. I'm trying to help Martin get flipping. Very nice views. Should we, go, should we go for a spin? Let's have another go. There we go. Oh my god. Hey, you got it, Martin. Ah. I actually find this easy to spin. Oh. oh my god. It's making a very, not very nice clunky noise. Oh my god. That was good. I find it easier to spin than Skyforce. That was good. Did you have a spin that time? At least you've been upside down. I enjoyed that.
Beautiful views down from on swing it. Woo! Oh, no. S and S power for the win. Woo! Such a beautiful day in Gothenburg today. Just saw them from the on-ride footage. Did a couple of the flat rides, we went on an aero spin. Uh, first time doing that, and I did quite enjoy it. I didn't actually struggle getting that spin in. A lot of people have said they struggle compared to Blackpool Pleasure Beach's version of the ride, Sky Force. Uh, but I didn't get that, you know, it was going quite well. I don't really see what people mean by that. Uh, I mean, it is quite windy today, considering, so maybe that did help with it. Uh, but yeah, I quite enjoyed it that much. We had two goes, as you saw there from the footage. Then I went on swing it, did each side there as well. Uh, really good. The side that I filmed on uh, is a really good side for getting the views out on Gothenburg. And if you sit on the other way, you can look straight down over Helix uh, and get the view of the airtime hill. So it's up to you which side you want to go on for the view, really. Uh, but it's worth it if you can, and it's quiet. Go do both sides. Why not? That's what I did. Uh, but talking of views, this is the one, isn't it? This is the best place this is for the, the views. Yeah, this look at this. View. I remember coming up here. Gorgeous. Go. I mean, look at that. You got Helix, the final section of the ride, just before it comes round into the final inversion. <laughs> talking of Helix, we've been watching it for a little while. This is the second launch, and it's definitely a little bit slower. Uh, than it was previously. I think it's just taking time to warm up a little, a little bit, to be honest. I mean, it does get really cold out here. Um, and yeah, it's just taking a little bit of warming up, I think. Hopefully tonight, though, so the general day to warm up. I mean, we did go on right at the start of the day. These coasters are genuinely better as the day goes on, especially a Matt Mega Coast. I mean, Blue Fires are saying that takes some warming up on the morning, and especially with it being the opening day of the season. But yeah, what a gorgeous view. It is beautiful, isn't it? you got Gothenburg, uh, the really busy road just over there as well. Yeah, you get so immersed into this park, but really you're right in the middle of a city and especially uh, in queue lines like Mechanica and it looks like Loki as well. Yes, the cattle pens, but it's all nicely themed and themed audio and everything. You know, it really does immerse you into the whole atmosphere of the park. And it is beautiful. There's so much in such a small space here. What a gorgeous park. Helix and of course, Lee Spoke Bannon on the side here as well. Stunning, really is. So another great way of getting views down here at Leesburg is from the park's Ferris wheel. And off we go, a little bit windy today. Nowhere near as windy as it was yesterday though when we arrived. Oh, Gothia Towers over there. It was, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really windy. Gothia Towers. I'm going to have a little zoom in for you. You see just up there on the side of the building, it's actually a swimming pool there if you ever stay up at Gothia Towers. I mean, look at that, you can see just in the window there as well to the left, an indoor pool. And they got the outdoor pool just at the side. I mean, a bit more posh than the accommodation that me and Martin are stopping in for this trip. Uh, I mentioned it right at the start, but make sure you check out our travel vlog where we show you our accommodation, where we're staying for this trip. And it's actually really, really nice uh, what we're staying in. It's thanks to Martin. Martin's uh, <laughs> service is there. We're going to get some great views of Helix when we get up to the top as well. So I'll uh, show you that. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Look at that old oh, Helix station just down there. You can just see it coming around from the brake run. And it goes out of the building just down there into your first inversion and down into that first launch. Look at that. It just goes to show how small of a park it actually is. You've got Loki testing down there as well. Such a small park, but everything's so compact and the space, what they've got here, you know, they've really thought about the location of rides. Beautiful. You've got the big children's area down the bottom there as well. Quite a few things for kids. A few flat rides, a couple of junior creds. If you like collecting your coaster creds, don't forget to go down there in the kids' area because there is a few to get. There's a rocking tug down there as well, quite a few other little bits. There you go, beautiful. So Leesburg may have some of the best rides in Europe. However, it's also got quite a lot for the kids as well. I mean, look at this kids' area here. Lots and lots of flat rides all the way around. 
a couple of junior coaster creds as well. And then there's a nice monorail that runs all the way around the top there as well. There's your rocking tug, if you like a good Zampirla rocking tug. And it's well themed, isn't it? Right it is. It's very nice. It is, very it is. Dress. I like this kids area. It's got a nice atmosphere to it and a, and a nice feel to it. And one of the only ones to not have a, an IP behind it as well, which yeah. is nice. It's yeah. like their own You're thing. Right. Yeah, They've got yeah, their own right characters thing. and stuff, but there's no CBBs, there's no Nickelodeon, there's no Thomas. It's just their own thing. And I think that works really well for this part. There's a teacups. It's not all little kids, right? There's quite a few family attractions around here as well, actually. I think me and Martin are going to have a ride on the monorail. That looks well. like exactly like the one that they're having at Full Park. It it's does, like the standard... Uh, like the standard... Yeah, standard model from Zampirla. Yeah. I like how they've put this cladding on the side. A bit like Heave Ho, actually, to sort of cover up the, the track there, cover yeah. up the mechanism. But yeah, if you do want the junior credits as well, there is a couple down here. You've got this one just here, and there's one round that side as well. So if you do like your junior creds, which I know there's quite a lot of you out there that do, like myself, then you don't want to miss out on those. But yeah, it's a really nice area. Lots to see, lots to do. Give or take, there's probably about 10 different rides down here, really. It's a lot. And we're off on the monorail. Bit of a delay on the pedaling here. See if I pedal now, look. We got Gary, and then if I stop, still keep the thing from pedaling. There you go, and then it stops. Oh, what are you got? Put your gear stick on. Right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's for if you've got short legs like Leah. Oh. Otherwise. Get your handbrake on, gear stick, whatever you want to call it. Changing gear. <laughs> Look at that view. Like, that's really nice. It's worth coming on this just for the views, to be honest. Beautiful, really good view of the kids' area as well, all the different attractions underneath. Little boat ride, little Europa Park style boat ride. Oh, yeah, I never went on that last time. I've got to go on Dora. Oh, yeah, Dora, oh, go on Dora. Dora. Little airtime hills on this as well. It's lovely. Imagine living up there somewhere, looking over this park and seeing Helix on the hillside every day. That'd be a reason to get up on the morning, wouldn't it, for that view? Beautiful. It's a really, really nice area. I know a lot of people come here for just for Helix and the big coasters, but if you do come here, I really do recommend take half an hour out of your day, come have a little stroll around the kids' area. It's really nice. You might even get to ride with the bunny look, like he is down there. Strap him in, that's it. <laughs> He's on the ride. Love it. the only dark ride inside the park and it's actually been removed shortly to make way for Valkyrie or however we pronounce it uh, the big new dive coaster which will literally end around this section just here and make its way back round towards the brake run so this could be probably your first and last time it riding it it is it is Sago Slotet there you go uh, there which go. stands for a big rip off Disney castle that's what it stands for and there it is Disneyland Paris <laughs> You know it's a bad dart ride when it's only one token for a go. I don't think it looks like a rip off of Disney Castle. I don't know, I think that turret does up there. Not this bit, but the turret is, I think, look very Disneyland Paris style. But yeah, this is basically a dolls exhibition, what's behind glass. And from what I remember, I've only ever been on it once, to be honest. Uh, I didn't have any desire to go on it again. But as it's been removed, I thought it might have already closed, but it's not, so... Beats bam. Let's go and have a go on it. Yeah, it's all like, all like different Disney, uh, Disney knockoffs. Alice one under Latin. Alice in Wonder, that. Yeah. There's like loads of dolls Rosa. and stuff. It's a bit weird. It's like Peter Pan sort of... Peter Pan's flight at the Disney park, how you set on one of these, so... Let's go on. Saga slot. <laughs> We can fly, we can fly!
This is a bad dart ride. I will not miss it at all. I'm just imagining seeing uh, London below us. I know, yeah. There. Oh, I love Peter Pan at Disney. It's just awful. Wow, amazing. It's just time for this to go, isn't it? Like, you look at the quality in this part. Like, even the big kids area was in just... You know, the kids area is beautiful. I mean, you come on, this. Well, they could have just done a bit of work for it, but I would rather see a dive coaster. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why everything's sort of, I mean, he's got the seams at the side. I mean, look at it, there's blank walls at either side. Yeah, and, uh, and everything's just on one side. I don't know. And it's one undone hat. There's the Mad Hatter anyway. Welcome to Disneyland. It's like the audio is way too quiet in here as well. Like, you can't hardly hear it. I mean, it is on, but it's just so quiet. It's more the fact there's one scene there and nothing on the other side. It's, I don't know, not very good at all. It will not be missed. I don't have a clue, but what is it? Oh my god, that's another this. Get me off this ride. Get me off. So after doing pretty much the rest of the park, we're back at Helix for some rides. Zero to ten minutes, I'm not complaining on that at all. That pretty much confirms it's probably still running on three trains. Because the park, it's not dead by all means, but it's not rammed. It's just a nice sort of crowd level today, as I expected really. But look at this. Oh wow, it really is quiet. Helix re-rides. Such a modern feel to it all. And the soundtrack really adds so much to this ride. We're going to have some re-rides and we'll uh, see you a little bit later on. Helix. Oh, sounds so good in here. What a soundtrack. If you do like the music, you can buy it from Imascore from their official website. Really, really good. you got all the other Leesburg soundtracks on there as well. See you a little later. Matt Mega Coaster, everybody. When yeah. you go to a party, what do you like? Huh? When you go to a party, what do you like? Atmosphere. Alcohol. Alcohol and atmosphere. Yeah, right. Alcohol. I like a party with a happy atmosphere. That didn't quite work, did it? So, atmosphere, drop tower, 381 foot tall drop tower. Martin loves drop towers. I really don't like <laughs> drop towers, and especially not 380. <laughs> but you've been on it before. Yes, I know I've been on it before. And it's forced, there's, there's nothing to it. Like, Apocalypse is amazing compared to this. Or even Condor's yeah, better than this. That's not the point, it's height. It's <laughs> the height. <laughs> Think of the views of Gothenburg that you get on this one. Here you go, we get a little view from you here, look. So yes, this used to be an observation tower. And that's why it's got the strange sort of catch car system just there. And that obviously pulls it up to the top of the tower. And it releases just here. So they, make, they really build this ride up with the theming down here. It's like a apocalyptic style theming. There's like a drone in the soundtrack in the background. But when you're up there, it's not actually that bad. If you're scared of heights, then yeah, don't come on. I queued but, a lot longer. Yeah, yeah, I did. I yeah. came on this. This is quite yeah. a, a short queue for this. Yeah, it is. This is a really short queue. Yeah. But yeah, if you don't like heights, then this isn't for you. But if you want the views and if you, you know, if you want to see some Gothenburg and the rest of the park, then get on board. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get Martin on. Oh, no. Time for a party with some atmosphere. I won't, I won't have much atmosphere after going on this. And the beautiful view of the Leesburg Ferris wheel, Helix station, and we're on atmosphere. We're going, we're going for the Gothenburg view on this side. If you want the view of the park, sit on the other side. If you want the view of Gothenburg, this is the side to be on. It's a very slow sort of climb up to the top. Like I said, we're going to drop from 300 foot, 380 foot total, the height of it, but we're only going to drop from 300. Stop telling me the height. <laughs> <laughs> nice views of Gothia Towers. Ah. 
and the sun is shining. The balls are gonna uh, pop. There we go. A sack of balls, man. Just enjoy the views, it's just beautiful. It's just like being on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> You're holding on as well, are you sure? Wow. Oh, and that's my phone going. And that's it. One of the poorest drop towers I've ever been on. Atmosphere. And there we are. So, hello and welcome to our vlog here from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Here we are in Niccolo. The, um, Why are we on Dora's World Voyage at Leesburg? Look! <laughs> it's the Leesburg it's Buddy! Not it's not Dora, it's <laughs> Leesburg Buddy! Hey, has he got a name, do you reckon, or not? We really need to know, hang, really. Hang on, we found one of them at the day, but earlier oh, yeah, on. Yeah, it? yeah, we had it earlier on, didn't we? Leeson. Leeson was his name. Leeson. No, Berg. hang on, but that was the girl rabbit, I think. Oh, okay. Leeson was the girl rabbit, I don't know. So we're on this. There's no audio on the actual boat on this one, like Dora, but the speakers all around the side. Sean's old bike over there. Yeah, there you go. Been having a cycle, cycle to Sweden. <laughs> what else we got? Any other random series to see? Plants are nice here, though, aren't they? Look, nice planting. We've got a footer there for the monorail that we went on earlier. Bose speakers. Bose 32 SE, one of my favourite speakers. Comment below on this video. What's your favourite type of speaker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really nice to use a helix. I know it sounds stupid, but you get a really different perspective on helix. You realise just how tall it really is, especially that inverted top hat just up there. Spade and rake. There's a rake. Rake, that's a fantastic land, isn't it? Oh, we've got a bit of a dark ride now. Look. Oh, oh, the family, they're all here. Uh, Grandma rabbits, <laughs> yeah. auntie rabbits, the whole family's there. I enjoyed and the that. End, I the enjoyed finale that. of the great rabbit Dora ride thingy thing. in Nickelodeon land here at Leesburg. <laughs> <laughs> These buildings are so nice around here. Me and Martin were saying earlier how it looks very similar to Europa Park, the Scandinavia area. Yeah. Yeah. Just goes to show how they did such a good job of the theming at Europa Park. Uh, it is very, very nice. If you are here and you want to go in a nice restaurant and have a nice meal, you've got to check out this place because where you sit is actually themed like a train carriage. Could you please it's read so out the name nice. for me of what it's called? Uh, John Bagg <laughs> Rangan. Okay, you go. that's where you gotta go. <laughs> There's a train carriage in there, all sorts of nice theming. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a couple of the other flat rides down here, I think. We're gonna do the Dodgems, Jukebox, make our way around for some re-rides. Good pronunciation there, Martin. Good pronunciation. Oreos. And we're off on the Dodgems, sponsored by Rick's FM. We've got police cars and everything on this one. Oh. oh. One way round, one way round. Yeah, there he is. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Where is he? Where's he gone? There he is. backwards on these ones. There we go. There he is. <laughs> so Dodgem's POV here at Leesburg, April 2017. I am the police. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Off we go, bye Martin. Hey. We're on jukebox. It doesn't look like much this, but when it gets going, it's actually quite good. Here we go. Hey. 
<laughs> what a classic. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't not come to Leesburg and have a ride on the shoebox. What a classic in the park. <laughs> so here we are at Leesburg and Sean is just trying out this virtual reality of Valkram coming for 2018. Here he is. Well, I got the left down there. Oh, the seats move. I'm going up the left down. <laughs> I got some other riders next to me. Just reach the top of the left hill now. Holding ready for the drop. So then, how was that, Mr. Sandbrook? It was quite good, that was. I mean, it wasn't a sort of representation of how it's going to look here. So the track was in some sort of mythical world. There was no other rides around or anything like that. It was like a big volcano and everything next door. And yeah, I thought it was going to be a representation originally of it sat here. I thought you'd see Balder at the side and Loki, and you didn't. It was all no. themed all around, so that wasn't quite what I was expecting. Uh, but it was a good like VR. I liked how the seats and stuff move. To be honest, yeah, I think I like VR that. works a lot better. It's not on an actual coaster. Like if that was just an experience where you all sit in a theatre for five minutes, put the headset on, and all the seats move. That was a lot better than the likes of Galactica, for example, because it's not spoiling a coaster. I really like VR when it's like that. That's probably the best thing I've ever done with VR because you sat there on a seat, you're not ruining a coaster experience, and that was actually really enjoyable. If you come out here this year, I'd recommend doing that. Two quid, not bad at all. Well worth doing. Yeah, really good. So we've done a few more re-rides since I last spoke to you guys and we've just ventured into one of the park's many gift shops to see some new merchandise for Balder and Loki. Look at this, oh that's nice, lanyard there with Balder on. Being demoed there by Martin. That's nice, that is. My voice is starting to go a little bit. It's going. New t-shirt here as well. You've got Red Train there. And you got the mug there as well. They're really nice, they are, look at that. Not sure on the lanyard for, for Loki, but I like the other merch. Loads of stuff. I won't model the t-shirt for you. Yeah, we don't want to see that, we don't want to put the viewers off. <laughs> and you got some nice uh, Leesburg t-shirts down there as well. This park really comes alive at night, so we're going to make our way outside, I show you some nice shots of the park in the dark, and hopefully get plenty of night rides on Helix. We'll see you at the top of the mountain. Why I always 
come to Leesburg for opening weekend. It is so quiet. Whether it's too cold or I don't know, there's just something why, why people don't come for this opening weekend. Look at it, it's dead. We've even had to drop a train on Helix, down to two trains, but it's still got literally, you have to wait one train and then you're on that next one. Look at it, it's absolutely dead. We've just done two rides in about, what, 15 minutes? It's walking around the queue what takes the longest, to be honest. But this is really nice in here, especially in the dark. All the LED lights and everything really shows up really nice at night. Of course, gearing up ready for them night rides now. The sunset over Gothenburg. This ride is just so special and I thought three years on maybe some of that specialness that it had might have worn off. Is specialness even a word? I don't know. Martin, is specialness a word or not? Yeah. It's not, is it's it? very special. It's, it's just... You know, get yourselves out here. It's so easy to get here. And if you haven't done it already, then honestly, check out that travel vlog. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but it just shows how easy it is to get here. You don't need to be sat there at home watching this video. You want to get on a flight and get yourself out here and do it for yourself. It is well worth going to see. It's so cheap, so easy. And one of the best rides in the world, sat right here with the walk on queue. Just think you could be right here, right now. Get it booked, get your flights booked to Gothenburg. Let's go. No loose articles, please. on Helix. That thing is amazing in the dark. Oh my God. That has probably been one of the most craziest 90 minutes I've ever had at a theme park, if not the most crazy. Multiple re-rides on Helix, meaning a total today of 20 rides on the Parts Map Mega Coaster. Settled there on the hillside here in Gothenburg. What an absolutely beautiful ride, and what a beautiful day me and Martin have had here. We've covered this park, we've done so many rides. It's been a shame that Loki wasn't ready for its opening day like it was supposed to be. Uh, but at the end of the day, the park's more than lived up to expectations today. Two years nearly since I've been. Helix running absolutely amazing. The new tunnel on that even adds so much more to it. Uh, theme park worldwide on YouTube, check it out. Oh, we're off. That failed, didn't it? Uh, yeah, the part living up to it, aero spin was actually really good. I was thinking that was gonna be quite poor, and it wasn't, that was good. Uh, Balder, that was running better than ever. Uh, I enjoyed the VR thing I did for the new dive coaster. Overall, it has been a really top class day. I've really enjoyed it. My highlight of the day, of course, Helix uh, in the dark, a fantastic uh, coaster. And honestly, guys, don't just watch this video. Get yourself booked on some flights out here. Get the bus from the airport to here uh, and come and enjoy this beautiful amusement park. It's got the same sort of feel of Pleasure Beach back home but just even nicer and of course the ride quality in my opinion is a far more superior to that of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Of course Martins, you had a good day? I've had a brilliant day, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's been yeah. Good. Um, I'm not feeling very well. Yeah, he's not feeling great either, but I've had, uh, a, 
I've had a bit much today, I don't know. We've done a lot of rides, and maybe it was the ice cream. Rides. I don't maybe know. I'm just getting old. Oh. I don't know, I'm 30 years old now, I'm certainly feeling it. But, but yeah, but yeah, it has been a really, really it good has. day. It's been great. I love this park, and it is just beautiful being here, even if you don't feel well. So Like Martin just matter. said, you know, when I was going yeah. round just on Helix, he sat on the hillside looking at the lights and the park. And yeah. Of course, Helix off-ride with the LED lights and everything. It's just as nice to look at off-ride as it is on ride really yeah. isn't it so yeah, it is. you got a highlight is it helix or uh, something else or the highlight of my day was sean's scare on gaston <laughs> yeah hotel gaston. hotel gaston i forgot to mention that in the roundup actually yeah. that was really good and i did get probably two or three scares in there uh, it was great hey, hey, hey. theme park worldwide on youtube check it out Whoa. Theme park worldwide on YouTube. Yeah. 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 There you go. You're going to type it in. All right, so. No, uh, no. Anyway, we're going to chat to these and type it in. Thank you very much for watching. Me and Martin's adventure. That's been Woo! Martin. Yeah. This has been some random Swedish girls. And on Theme Park Worldwide, that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye. Say bye. 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 I love you, Sweden. Woo! I love you.